The first one is from the Miami branch. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. My name is Tom Glazer. I teach history, government economics at Madra Academy Charter High School in Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Thank you for this opportunity. Here's my question. What is your view of the current state of government budgets, local, state, and federal, and what are the implications for students and education? Well, you, you've identified a, uh, a key example of uh, trade-offs, which is what economics is all about. Uh, state and local governments have been facing some fiscal challenges for some time, as you know. It's not just something that's happened since the crisis. Uh, maybe some of you are aware of a study that just came out uh, under the auspices of uh, former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker that looked at state and local government uh, finances and found that uh, many uh, governments are uh, finding it very difficult to meet their long-term uh, commitments for pensions uh, and, and uh, other benefits for their, for their workforce. Um, during the recession and the crisis, of course, uh, as the economy contracted, tax revenues fell quite a bit, um, and states and localities with balanced budget amendments or requirements um, cut back on their spending. And indeed, if you look at employment over the last few years, even as the private sector has been adding jobs, the state and local sector has been subtracting jobs and reducing the overall uh, pace of gains in our labor market. So uh, it's been a very tight and difficult period for state and local governments. Now, on the other side, you have education, which is uh, the most basic kind of investment. It's investment in human capital. It's investment in our future. Now, there's lots and lots of evidence that uh, every extra year of education provides extra earning power, extra job satisfaction, and adds to the uh, overall uh, social welfare of the, of the entire economy. Um, so there's a great deal to be gained from, from extra education. Now, an additional complication is, of course, that the quality of education and the amount spent on education are not always exactly correlated. There are many other factors as well, such as uh, parental involvement, uh, community support, uh, quality of teachers, <coughs> types of curriculum, and so on. So it's a very complicated um, relationship. All that being said, and, and understanding very well that uh, state and local governments uh, while things have been a little better lately, are still under a great deal of budgetary pressure. I hope that in making those decisions and thinking about where to put their limited dollars, that state and local governments will keep in mind um, that we don't want to be eating our seed corn. We want to be making investments in the future, and education is one of the most fundamental investments because it's in our young people who will be, of course, the workers, consumers, and citizens um, in decades ahead.